we have the cylinder head over here for a two-stroke crossed marine diesel engine with the exhaust valve here is the exhaust valve and through this exhaust gas passage this goes into the exhaust manifold and from the exhaust manifold it goes to the turbocharger here is it this is the turbocharger this is the exhaust manifold and here is the exhaust valve the topic for the day is on the temperature difference measured at the outlet of the exhaust valve that is over here and the inlet of the turbocharger we all know that for a two-stroke crossed marine diesel engine assuming the ambient engine room temperature to be uh, somewhere around let's say 42 degrees or 45 degrees max so the exhaust temperature will be at the outlet of each unit it can vary however for this video I'm just taking it to be somewhere on the order of 350 to 400 degrees Celsius this will vary obviously with respect to the ambient conditions and as you see at the turbocharger inlet it will be of the order of 430 to 480 degrees Celsius so you must be encountered a lot of times with the question that the temperature measured at the exhaust valve is lesser than the turbocharger inlet why so this video will provide you the in-depth insight for this phenomenon and will elaborate on what's exactly happening at the exhaust valve and at the turbocharger inlet let's see the process so here is the complete arrangement of a two-stroke crossed engine the scavenging and the exhausting diagram so as you can see the fresh air I will indicate it with the blue color the scavenge air comes and enters through the scavenge ports as the piston uncovers it and then pushes the exhaust gas out when the exhaust valve opens and the exhaust gas is expelled out to the exhaust manifold or the exhaust gas receiver and then it goes to the turbocharger over here so that's the basic system and here one thing you have to understand to know the process is the type of scavenging is uniflow and the type of turbocharging or the exhaust system is constant pressure which means all the units let's say it's uh, 7 RTA 58 Sulzer engine just for assumption so all the seven units will exhaust into the exhaust receiver or a manifold where the exhaust pulses get nullified and then a constant pressure is produced which goes to the turbocharger so that's constant pressure turbocharging so with uniflow scavenging and constant pressure turbocharging let's get in depth to understand the temperature difference so we measure the exhaust temperature at this point let's assume this point to be one where the exhaust temperature is 350 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius and uh, the other point will be the turbocharger inlet that's point two and here the temperature would be somewhere around 400 degrees to 450 depending on the ambient let's assume the ambient to be uh, roughly the under piston space temperature will be somewhere around 50 or 55 depending on the ambient but the air inlet to the turbocharger let's say engine room temperature is 40 degrees it gets in and after compression after compression from the turbocharger or the turbine driven compressor the temperature reaches as high as 110 degrees 
cooled in the air cooler and then reaches back approximately equal to the ambient that's 50 so the variation in temperature at the outlet of the unit at point 1 and at point 2 is because of two reasons one is the gas velocity and the second is gas temperature so these are the two major reasons let's see how does this affect now let's assume the first one gas velocity during combustion the exhaust valve remains closed at TDC exhaust valve is closed which means gas velocity is obviously zero however as the piston moves down after combustion when approaching the scavenge boats the exhaust valve opens before the scavenge port is uncovered and the gas velocity assumes to be maximum at this point so the gas velocity over the combustion process is not constant it is zero during combustion and as the piston moves down the gas velocity is maximum so the thermometer or a pyrometer located here doesn't sense the continuous gas temperature when the exhaust valve is closed there is no movement or there is no flow of exhaust gas as the exhaust valve opens the gas temperature or the gas starts to flow the gas velocity is maximum and at this point as the exhaust valve opens at this point uh, let's say roughly at 140 degrees after TDC roughly for a two-stroke crosshead engine before the scavenge port uncovers the temperature is roughly 900 degrees Celsius and as we know the combustion temperature will be somewhere around 1200 degrees and as the exhaust valve opens the temperature is 900 degrees Celsius and due to expansion it drops and it drops as the piston uncovers the scavenge ports it drops to let's say 800 700 450 300 200 and almost equal to the scavenge temperature that's 50 so let's say the average temperature reaches somewhere around uh, 200 or something 250 so the exhaust temperature finally doesn't go below 300 or 250 that's the temperature the minimum temperature that is reached within the combustion chamber however if the piston is remaining down itself and we pump in more and more scavenger the temperature drops but that will lead to the corrosion in the liner or the dew point so we'll not go into uh, that topic as that's not the scope of this topic so the temperature is not constant which which comes to the second point now encapsulating these two points the gas velocity is not constant over the combustion region or the combustion process and the gas temperature is not also constant so when these two are not constant the pyrometer over here I'll use a different color the pyrometer over here senses the average temperature over the combustion process that's not sensing the instantaneous value so that's the reason it is showing 350 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Celsius depending on the ambient now let's concentrate on what's happening at the turbocharger inlet with respect to the turbocharger inlet all the units exhaust into the exhaust manifold where the eddies cancel out themselves inside the exhaust manifold and thus constant pressure is set up in the manifold so 
since the pressure of the exhaust manifold is constant the exhaust temperature in the exhaust manifold is also constant since both the pressure and temperature in the exhaust manifold is roughly a constant or remaining constant throughout the combustion process the turbocharger inlet or the pyrometer which is located over here senses the constant temperature so that's why it appears to be slightly more the pyrometer which is at the exhaust valve outlet senses the average temperature over the combustion process however the pyrometer located at the turbocharger inlet senses the constant pressure there is no pulsation or there is no variation in the exhaust gas temperature or gas velocity that's remaining constant and one more intricacy is that the exhaust piping just narrows down a bit from the exhaust manifold to the turbocharger inlet and this gives a slight compression and slight compression results in slight increase in pressure and this increase in pressure creates increase in temperature but that's minimal and that reason is secondary the main reason is as I said there are two factors which has to be considered for this temperature variation so hope you all are clear about this gas exchange process and now you're clear with the variation in temperature at the exhaust gas or exhaust valve outlet and the turbocharger inlet thank you for watching this video and if you have some doubts please post the comments below this video so that I could address the doubts with whatever I know and if you really like this video there's a small thumbs up button like button which is shown on the left of the screen on YouTube so do like and share this video subscribe to my channel thank you